In this video, I'll show you how to write an equation of a circle in general form. The general form equation for a circle is shown here. And question one reads, write the equation x plus five squared plus y minus three squared is equal to 16 in general form. Currently, this equation is in standard form. And to convert it from standard form to general form, all you have to do is expand it. So let's start off by expanding x plus five squared x plus five squared is the same thing as saying x plus five times x plus five. So you have two binomials. x times x is x squared, x times five is five x. And similarly, five times x is five x, and five times five is 25. We have just expanded this part. Now we'll expand y minus three. y minus three to the power of two is the same thing as this expression y times y is y squared, minus 3y minus 3y plus 9. Combining these two like terms, y squared minus 6y plus 9. And the same thing can be said about these two middle terms. That should become 10x. I'm going to highlight these two main parts and apply them into my equation, where I end up with x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9. And I'm also going to bring this 16 over to the left side because notice that in the general form equation, all of the terms are to one side. So negative 16. Now we have three more like terms. This, this, and this. What is 25 plus 9 minus 16? 25 plus 9 is 34. 34 minus 16 is 18. Our final equation should be x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 6y plus 18. I'm going to highlight that for clarity. And we're going to move on to question 2. In question two, we're asked, write the equation of the circle in general form where the center is at one and one and it passes through four and negative three. The center is at one and one. This represents the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. And what we have to do is put this in standard form first and then convert it into general form the same way I did in question one. Like I mentioned, this is my x and this is my y-coordinate. And when it comes to standard form equations, you actually have x and y as your h and your k. So this is our h and this is our k value. The standard form equation of a circle looks like this, where we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r to the power of two. We know our h and our k. My h is one, my k is one. So I'm going to replace h and k with one x is equal to 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to r squared. They haven't told us our radius, although we can easily find our radius by substituting the point in which this circle passes through. And we're told that it passes through 4 and negative 3. So I'm going to use this as my x coordinate and use this as my y, giving me 4 minus 1 squared plus negative 3 minus 1 squared is equal to r squared. I'm going to evaluate the left side. 4 minus 1 is 3 to the power of 2 is 9. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So I have 25 on the left side and r squared on the right side. I will square root now both sides and this gives me an r value of 5. I'll substitute this number into here where I end up with a standard form equation of x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 25. Now what I have to do is expand this like I did in question 1 so that it is in general form. Let's go ahead and do that. x minus 1 to the power of 2 is the same thing as saying x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I've expanded this, and it has become this expression. Similarly, I'll do the same thing for this. If I expand this, I should end up with y squared 
minus 2y plus 1. And I'll bring this over like I did before in the other question. Collecting like terms, this, this, and this are like terms. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 minus 25 is negative 23. We start with x squared, then y squared, then the x term, then the y term. Minus 23 is equal to 0. That expression right there represents the standard form equation converted to general form. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to write an equation of a circle in general form.